Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Excel VBA Expert. In today's video, we are going to do very very important question that how we can convert Outlook emails in a PDF format. See, already I have created one video wherein I have shown that how you guys can download the emails and save it in a local folder, right? That I already have created. I mean, uh, you know, few few days ago, right? I just uploaded that video. You guys can go and watch that video so that you know. You will be able to you know save your outlook emails in your local folder and after that if you guys want to convert those emails into the pdf that you guys can do it very very easily for example i'm just showing you one one you know the demo here you guys can see i do have total you know i have total uh, nine emails okay and i want to convert all these emails you know what where in the pdf and those pdf files will be you know displaying here so let me click on this and going back to the folder so here it is still showing zero and it will start to it will start to you know converting those emails into the pdf so it's it is in the progress let's see all right so it is still uh, nothing came still it is in the progress see the email actually has started converting into the pdf you guys can see now if i will open this okay still all the you know others emails are being converted into the pdf Okay, meanwhile, let me show you. Let me open this. I'm opening the mail one dot mail one PDF, right? As soon as I click, so here you guys can see. I just you know I can see those emails. Okay, that email I will show you in the Outlook as well. You know which we have in the folder. So this is something you know converted into the PDF. You know with all the formatting, there is no format change, right? So let me show you. Let me show you the other things as well. This is the mail. Okay, which converted into the PDF. Let me right click and open it. Open it into the Outlook mode. It is uh, open it here. Open with Outlook. Here you will be able to see. Open with Outlook. Okay. I just open it. Now you will be able to see here. Okay. Still it is coming. See where it has gone. This is what. This is the email, right? This is the email. Okay, which got converted into the PDF. PDF you guys can see here. From to you know subject and other things as well, right? These are the things you know got converted. All right. So that is what you know we are going to achieve and we are going to learn how we can convert the emails in the PDF. Okay, let me see how many emails still five got converted. It is still taking a little time, but yes, that can help us. You know. We we just you know get such a output you know in just one click. So still in you know, three more PDFs you know are about to generate and after that we will start to write the code from the scratch. How we can do that? All right. So still it is six and now seven and uh, eight and nine. Okay. Then we will start. So this is what you know I just wanted to show you guys because sometimes what happened that we need to convert our emails and we need to send that emails as an attachment you know to the other people right. So sometimes you know we we get such issues and we are really unable to you know convert those PDFs. We can convert the emails into the PDF using the different different website on the Google. But what about if we can all we can convert and we can create our own utility in Excel using VBA itself? So how benefit how benefit you know how good it would be for uh, for, for us you know? So it got converted and message box we are about to get here. Message box we have got done right so here what we need to do i'm deleting all this pdf okay i'm deleting all this pdf okay here what i can do i can write here uh, pdf sorry email folder okay and pdf folder simple all right so why i'm you know writing it i will tell you guys so here before we need to convert our emails first in dot mht format which we use to you know file format is a convenient way to save any web page with all their resources with all their resources in a single file making it useful for offline viewing and archiving so what happens you know whenever we are you know about whenever we convert uh, whenever we want to convert the pdf from any website and something which is online okay and if we need to we need to convert those files as archive and okay and after that we can convert we can open those file in any in any application such as word and excel and so on 
right so here just let's create it first email folder where we have emails so we have a emails in which folder here so i am copying this folder and pasting it here okay pasting it here and after that what i can do what i can do is i can where i want to save my pdf i want to save my pdf where i want to save my pdf here uh, in mails in this pdf folder okay copy it come here and paste it okay and that's what we have done and after that we need to write the code but before writing the code we need to enable some external library such as outlook library you know fso library and word library so what i can do is i can go in the tools in the reference in the references and after that you guys can see i already have checked microsoft scripting runtime microsoft word 16.0 object library microsoft outlook 16.0 object library these are the library you guys need to enable okay if you have not enabled so might you will not get such output so in order to achieving this requirement we will have to enable these libraries all right so let's start to write the code from scratch sub procedure you know email convert email to pdf for example i am writing okay and here you need to declare the variable like this dim fso as new file system object folder as folder f1 as file f1 as file and dim ws as a new word application and uh, after that doc as a word document and temp file we need to store somewhere as created as a variant and one more pdf file you know we you know we need to save the file where we want to save okay we need to store in in we, we need to store that path in the pdf file okay as a variant and after after that dim you know uh, dim uh, ot as new outlook email application oml as outlook mail item okay that's that's it you need to create okay and one more variable we should declare for sheet where we want to work set sh this workbook dot sheets okay this workbook dot sheets all right so here set fldr folder fso dot get folder where we have a folder we have a folder in b4 uh, here we need to write like this range b4 dot value because this is something which we are making dynamic okay we are making dynamic so run the loop for each f1 in folder dot files if we have a file name vba right we need to first of all check is it the outlook email or something else okay a file name as you know we need to file name from last four if this is equal to dot msg this is the extension of the outlook then what should happen it should you know open my emails in create create item from template okay f1 dot path and after that we need to save it as a dot mht format so before that we need to store the path where we want to save it as a dot mht format so what we need to do is we need to store the path here temp file right here environment environ temp okay and after that what is vba dot replace because we need to replace the extension so this would be a file name where wherever we have a dot msg replace it dot with mht dot mht okay and after that we need to save it oml dot save as you know where where we have a file path here which we have stored in the temp file and olhtml format okay that's what actually we have done but next we need to you know open it open it in the word so uh, ws sorry new word dot application set do doc which stands for documents word documents so documents should open sorry ws documents dot open it should be open where as a temp file it will get open and after that what we need to do we need to save it we need to save it where here okay here we need to save it where where we want to save it we have given the path here in b5 so it would be like sh dot range b5 dot value okay dot value here okay and here we need to write the name like file name whatever the file you know we have whatever the name we have you know email name whatever email name we have we just convert those in the pdf and after that we need to save the document save as to you know uh, where in this path 
as a word wd format dot pdf that's it and we need to kill it word temp file and if simple that is the code and before you know closing it we need to clean the memory as well so let's clean the memory nothing set folder as nothing set f1 as nothing set ot as nothing which is stand for outlook set oml as nothing okay and message box at end at end we should get message box as done yeah all emails you know converted in pdf okay on blow path blow path would be what blow path would be vb new line where ss dot range b5 the path name you know the which we have given that's it we need to store we need to you know run it so as, as of now you guys can see there is no pdf so let me let me run it i am running it pressing f5 now you see it's still it's saying variable not defined vba not vb new line okay now let's press f5 i pressed it still it's not get converted why let me check it is b4 b5 right okay so here let's run it f5 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 b4 dot value all right dot message box oh because this is something which is case sensitive okay so what we can do is we can just copy it and we can write it or and convert in the small simple okay now let's reset and run it f5 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 yes it is started working now let's run it we have no file in this you know we have no pdf file in this folder now i am running it i am pressing f5 as soon as i press it is started getting converted might it would take little time but yes it will give us the very very right output because what happens whenever we are converting any emails in the pdf file with all the original format we have in that email so that actually takes little time so it is saying the permission deny why so okay here so what we can do we can write on error resume and next okay we can ignore this if we have the path we can otherwise we can ignore pressing f5 now you see it is started converting you know in the pdf so still it is one now let's see we will get we will get uh, the second pdf as well in a while okay let's wait second we have got let me open it we should open uh, okay let's open mail 2.msg.pdf i'm opening it okay i just clicked and hopefully i would get my output here just it is getting open you see very easily that we have got we converted that email okay in this format you see okay you are able to see guys okay it is still four all right let's wait how easily we can do in just a few line of a code right this is something which is very very you know challenge task sometimes you know it becomes whenever we whenever you know it comes you know instant we are not aware of it right so that happens so it's all right we have we have a emails we converted those emails in the pdf okay and we can do whatever we want you know next so we converted all those emails in the pdf so i will attach this file in the description box from there you guys can download it for your practice purpose all right so okay so it, it will get converted let me show you till the end eight and after that i hope i would get a next one as well eight and next would be the nine okay and we have got the message box here all emails convert in pdf on a blow path okay and we can open the we can open one more pdf like this and we can i can show you guys i can show you mail dot you know this is the email that we have got okay that email standard chartered bank email you know that we can do it okay so i will attach this file guys for your practice purpose you guys can download it for your practice so thank you so much everyone for watching the video thanks a lot